Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a beautiful 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S Fastback or Sports Coupe to show you. Now, these are a pretty rare car. Uh, this one equipped uh, with a 383 and a four speed and the eight and three quarter rear end. So yeah, this is a nice car, nicely equipped. It's had some nice updates. I'm gonna take you around, show you the car. If you like these and you want one of these, this is a nice one. Now, let's start with the paint. Now, this paint is finished uh, in saddle brown poly. So, poly just means back in the 60s, that meant metallic. So, it does have metallic in it, but kind of more what we used to call root beer brown. And, I mean, look at the depth on this thing. I mean, it is cut and polished to a very nice show shine. Now... These are original, these original 383 S for Formula S uh, hood treatments on here. They're beautiful, they look excellent. These uh, were an extra cost option. These are little turn signal indicators, so when you're in the driver's seat, you can look out and see your little turn signals working. It's kind of cool. All the trim and bright work is excellent. Um, wheels and tires, these, these are uh, like a center line uh, wheel these are 15s uh, they're highly polished and you got these nice new bf goodrich radial tas all around your barracuda formula s call out the badging is excellent on it all the glass is nice all the trim and bright work is nice this is a this is a beautiful car Paint's been on the car for a number of years, but the car hasn't uh, been utilized too much. So therefore, I mean, the paint just looks brand new. And if there was anything coming out in the paint or any strange images under the paint, you would have seen them by now, and this has none. I mean, it is beautiful. Take in the interior on this side. On these Barracudas, this portion here was painted body color, and as you can see, same here, highly polished, but original bench seat completely reupholstered, uh, rear seat reupholstered, door panels are excellent, new carpeting, new headliner. Take a look at that dash. No cracks, nothing. Now, you'll notice this is a pistol grip four-speed, so... Uh, in 1968, you wouldn't have had that option to have the pistol grip. That didn't come out until 1970. But it is a Hearst linkage, and I mean, if you've got a Mopar four-speed, you you got to have the pistol grip. So that was a nice upgrade there. Headrests, uh, pretty rare for 1968. They were optional, and then by 1969, they, I believe it was, they became mandatory. But uh, I want to show you this rear seat here. This rear seat folds down to give you this nice, if you want to call it a two-seater <laughs> ability. Uh, very cool. But take a look at the panel up there where the light is. All body color and highly polished. Excellent. Little uh, side trim door, or whatever you call it, dome lights working well. Nice trim plates. Jams look nice. This car was very nicely done. And we're going to start it and hear it run here in a little bit. And uh, you're going to really like the sound of this 383, and it does run good. Of course, all the weather stripping replaced, which would include the felts or whiskers, if you want to call it. Let me show you here. Uh, the windows roll up and down easily. Let me show you that one real quick. Again, you know, all the glass is nice. Doors, you don't have to slam the doors. Shut lines nice and true, which is true for all the all the shut lines, the trunk, the hood, and whatnot. This big back glass is characteristic of the Barracuda fast back. Now back here uh, in 1968, this is where your reverse lights were, and they do work. Barracuda call out. Beautiful. Nice big dual exhaust there. Now, 
The rear valance, this is a 1967 rear valance because you would have had your, I, I presume your reverse lights there, but uh, they added this to uh, the car, which actually looks kind of cool like that. While we're here, let me show you in the trunk. And by the way, all the trim and bright work is excellent on the trunk, and this panel here also painted body color. And that's how they were. Trunk is nice. Weather strip, again, nice. Trenches are nice. This is a little piece of carpeting here. Uh, this is where you carried the spare. I can show you in there a little bit. It's the spare tire. Your trunk floor is nice and solid and excellent. It's painted body color as it should be. Uh, let me check this out. So you pull this clip down and you can lower that all the way through the car. So if you want to put your surfboard in there, that should fit. Up underneath, painted. Nicely cleaned and polished under here too. By the way, uh, if you look here, you can tell a little bit better, but all new wiring throughout the car. So you're not gonna have any issues. Again, everything on the car works. All the lights work, uh, the heater works, the, t the turn signals, the windshield wipers and so forth. Everything works. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where of course, I got pictures of the Barracuda. If I have a text ad there that will hit the bullet points of the car, I may add some here that I didn't on the ad, or there may be some that I miss and might be on the ad. So hopefully between the two, I'll catch just about everything. But uh, you want to see the undercarriage of this car. It is magnificent under there. Beautiful, nice, clean, uh, shiny, nice black metal. Uh, no rust in this car whatsoever. It's very nice. The suspension. Uh, stock suspension, but it's all been you know restored with new bushings and ball joints and KYB shocks all around and so forth. Differential, as I mentioned earlier, eight and three quarter uh, Sure Grip, which was Plymouth's pause attraction. If you know what Sure Grip, sure grip is, uh, I believe 391 to one gear ratio, uh, and of course that 383. Now. Uh, <laughs> You know, the 383 in, in the year 1968 was 300 horse. This one's been a little bit warmed over, and warmed over very nicely, and man, it sounds good. Producing probably closer to about 450 horse. Very easy to manage, drives nice, pulls nice, shifts nice. This is a nice driving car. I've had some 70s that don't drive as nice as this 68, and man, I'm here to tell you, this is a nice, fun car to drive. Big dual exhaust, you got three inch dual exhaust under there. Uh, this is kind of the racing idea, the gas cap, pop open gas cap, very cool. Taking the interior on this side, again, you know, your strikers and jams and so forth look excellent. You see that nice clean paint there. All the gauges work, by the way, uh, and also this one has the factory tack. Not all of them had that. That is a factory tachometer. And this is the factory steering wheel with the little Barracuda shark there. New clutch, should mention that as well. Emergency brake works. All facets of the car work. That's what's nice. So this is a a nice car as an investment, but it's also a, a very enjoyable car to drive, and you'll definitely hear it rolling into the cruise ins and car shows. Again, don't have to slam the doors, shut lines are nice. Got this nice open hard top here, you know, when you're cruising in the summertime. It's going to be cold out, you might not want to do that today, but it's pretty cool out. <clears throat> I want you to see this front grill and surround. Look how nice they did. Very nice, clean, the silver paint, which would be correct, your Plymouth call out. 
And of course your bar barracuda fish up there. Very nice. Now take a look at this 383 here. If I can get the lid open. There you go. Beautiful. But also, you know, uh, you got the the, uh, the Formula S uh, power front disc brakes as well. Aluminum heads, Edelbrock aluminum heads, Edelbrock uh, high-rise aluminum intake manifold. You got a Demon carburetor there. You got a Pro Billet distributor with the MSD box. So you have MSD ignition. Nice big aluminum radiator here with your polished overflow. I mean, this car is set up to enjoy. You won't have to worry about anything on this car. They just did a fantastic job. Up under the hood looks nice. Very clean. You know, this is all body color, of course, and that's how they did it. But look how nice and shiny that is. They just did a great job. All that new wiring and so forth. Headers that are uh, jet hot coated, as you can see. And again, you know, your front suspension all rebuilt, KYB shocks all around. Very clean. So, uh, what I'd like to do now is I'll just hop in the Barracuda and uh, start it. You'll hear it run, man, it runs nice. And I'll just drive it around the parking lot so you kind of get a look at it, you know, and see what it looks like moving under its own power. I can't take you for a long ride in here, but. but You'll get the idea. Hood closes nice and easy. Uh, you don't have to, you know, slam the hood or drop the hood or anything. The shut lines look good. This is a fantastic car. But let's take that little spin. Kind of let it idle there a little bit for you in the beginning because I wanted you to hear that, that delicious sound that we all love with the cam and so forth. But uh, a remote inside mirror again, you know, all your lights work, uh, all the gauges work. Uh, yeah, wipers work, heater works, everything works on the car. Very easy to drive, very fun to drive, and uh, very, very nicely restored. This is an excellent car, but. If I can answer any further questions for you about this 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S Sports Coupe Fastback. <laughs> yeah, how they get that on the window sticker? That's a lot of term. But uh, just don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.